Hello there, Shirley Rocks here, and I'm playing Navy Field 2 today. And I thought today I would delve into the automatic versus manual madness that is in this game. Now, when you play this this game, you can actually choose two different aiming types, uh, automatic or manual. Now, I'll show you both. So, first of all, we're going to go into the um, hotkey option. Currently I've got it set to manual so I'll, I'm going to change back to automatic. Okay and we're going to quickly dive into a game. And basically um, automatic you do uh, less damage but it's a lot easier to aim. Whereas manual, you do more damage, and it's harder to aim. Now, I, I learned to play this using automatic, and I've just started manual, and it's... I think you're best off learning manual as soon as you can, because... Oh, it's such, it's such a, a steep learning curve. So, here we go. Ooh, nice sub there. We're going into a normal... Um, battle so there's probably going to be lots and lots of torpedo spam just waiting for the other players sometime today Here we go. So, normally when you want to aim, you just right click like this. Oh, sorry, left click. What am I talking about? So, and you can see the cursors there. So, that's basically aiming wherever I want to aim. You actually click in the distance there where you actually want to aim. You can fine tune it with Q. Um, which one is it now? Uh, e to make your shots go a little bit tighter. But genuinely, uh, generally, you don't really need to worry about aiming where your shots are gonna go because you're just spamming your button like this. So I'll switch back to me normal guns and show you. So as you can see, a moment to the right here. So we're gonna we're gonna come shooting along here. Go towards these guys. As you can see, I'm shooting there. Shots are landing. There you go. So, not spotted anyone yet. We're just going to race ahead. No one seems to be actually over here. I can hear someone landing. That's another little tip. You can hear the landing craft. So, now that you know, there's going to be someone over here at some point. So, you can fire a few shots off if you want. Make sure you don't shoot your teammates while you're, uh, <laughs> while you're sailing along. As you can see, actually, that's the maximum length of these guns anyway, so... We're just going to go right in. Sounds like they've uh, gone now. So as you can see, I'll, I'm just going to example aim at that there. So as you can see, shots are all... Fairly grouped together, quite nicely. I'm just gonna go in a little bit closer so if I find anyone to sh I can actually shoot at. Oh, there we go. So, as you can see here, aim at this guy here. 
You can see that's a hit. Another hit. See, so you can get some quite nice uh, hits on this, but. Yeah, as you can see, the. Um, the yeah, there's still quite a lot of grouping goes on. Um, let's just go in. I wanna, I wanna, I actually want to try and kill myself. So, we're just gonna. Try and get one, at least one kill. There you go, that's one kill. So, let's just go over here and just see if I can sacrifice myself. I don't really want to play this, I just want to show you the difference between manual and the other method. So, let's just go. Let's just go crazy. See, that's how annoying Torpedo is talking to me. Actually, let me, let me get on the Torpedo. Just when you want to die, no one will actually kill you. Yeah. Right, look, this looks a pretty decent target. Right? And, uh, right. Let's just stop completely. Hopefully he's gonna get the hints. Oh, hopefully, yes. Yes, finally I'm dead. <laughs> so, as you can see, that's automatic fire. Let's switch to manual firing, and we'll see. We will see the difference, because you will see the difference. Because there are probably some of you watching this just like thinking, "You are terrible, terrible human being at this." Okay, so now we've got manual controls, and all of a sudden, if you go down here, oh my god, oh my god, there's so many controls. There's so many controls, but I'm just going to go into the game. Going to do another quick battle for the same ship. So basically you've got to now manually aim your guns, you've also got to control the elevation of your guns which is elevation is the points that your guns aim up or down so if you want to aim further away you have to elevate your guns as in raise them up so that you will have a higher tra trajectory and fire further away. Um, you can group your shots a lot easier. Um, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm sure I've read that if you do manual aiming, you get a, bon a damage bonus. So, um, we'll see now what happens when we get into the game, because um, I'm, still not quite the, I'm still quite not there yet with the, <laughs> the aiming on the, uh, the guns. Um, and it also affects your other things, um, sort of like your um, acceleration, deceleration, then buttons change. Um, the spread buttons on your um, torpedoes and things like that, I believe that changes as well. Um, we'll go in and see. I'm sure this is a familiar sight to you if you play this game. Waiting for the battle to start. I feel like I should sing a sea shanty or something to um, keep us entertained while we're waiting, but... Oh no! Oh, luckily you're saved. No no she sea shanties today, I'm afraid. There's the US carrier. Looks like it's got wooden... 
Um, well, it, well, it is wooden deck, decking, but I always think it looks a bit bizarre, like it's not straight, like it's a fence panel. Now when we jump in, it's, gonna, it's quite hard with manual when you're on a fast ship because you've got to have fast reactions, which I don't. So previously, right click would let you aim, and so would uh, left click. But now, F is accelerate and V is stop, so we'll get moving. Now, right click, you can still move the same, no worries with that. If you press E, it moves your uh, gun down to the right. I don't have a clue if that's port or starboard. I don't even have a clue. I should really have looked at that before I did the video because it shows you how much of a sailor, a sailor, sailor novice I am. So you can also, if, if you see I'm holding down E here to swing to the right, you can also fine tune it. So if you hold down shift and I'll press Q and E. So that's, that's moving the direction. And now you want to look down here. I'm currently on elevation zero. So if I do my elevation up, Press fire. Okay, you can see that's that's on the eight. So if I move it down to about two, you see, closer again, you can see the splash damage. So if I want to broadside someone, I need to be on basically zero or one. So let's get the speed going. And I'll show you um actually facing someone. So I can hear, as always, someone landing over here. I know it's not my team, so let's get some shots over here. Enemy ships in sight, apparently, so now you have to quickly swing around to the other way. There we go, over there. Okay, we're going to go for this guy over here. actually uh, crashed at the moment. So now you need to switch around to the left. Oh, you need to crash into a rock then for maximum efficiency. Try and aim there. Oh, that's far too far away. Okay, we'll try that. And we can see too far away still. Okay. So now we're gonna go let's have a look. I'm gonna head up here. So full steam ahead. Switch me gun drawn to the right hand side, because hopefully that's where somebody's going to appear. I think he's just at the south, is getting attacked. Have a look. Looks like. Wir nehmen Schaden. So nah bereit. Think. Was that a random torpedo? Nope. It's me getting shot at. So as you can see, it's pretty. It's pretty um, difficult to actually aim correctly because you need to get the right angle right. So here we go, this is a 4 on my elevation, as you can see, nowhere near near, there you go, I've hit that, and again, pummeled from the right, oh here we go, that's why I'm getting pummeled, so, chuck my torpedoes out, Switch back to me guns. Switch back to me guns again. As you can see, I can't get the angle quite right here. 
And there you go. Shirley, Ro Shirley Rocks has sung with a, a rating of E. So, as you can see, manual does take a lot of getting used to. Um, whether it's easier on the um, slower ships because you've got more time, to, more time to aim and things like that, but at the moment, you know, I absolutely suck at manual aiming. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. Please, will it go away? Um, yeah, so if you're going to get into this game and you're a regular player, I'd advise you as soon as you can, get used to the whole um, thing with aiming and working the angles out and things like that because uh, it's really hard to get into. But as you can see, I, I, it does seem to do more damage, but I do need to do some more tests to make sure if it actually does. But if I remember from the first Navy Field game, you would get laughed at in the later on games if you're in, say, for instance, a battleship and you're using automatic aiming because it's just pretty p pants <laughs> end of game. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoy watching that. and Maybe it'll explain a little bit more about the um, aiming in this game because it, it, it did take me, believe it or not, it did actually take me a while to work out the fact that you could actually go into the options and chain it. To change it and I kept seeing people saying automatic and manual and I was thinking what are you talking about but uh, basically that's how you do it I hope you enjoyed the video up to 209 subs now so woohoo and I will see you in the next video this is Shirley Rocks the rubbish manual aimer signing out